You remember how many eggs? Mom said okay, um... That's true. This... So I was not expecting this at all. Question, chef. So, like we're obviously here to do something. Joyce loves William so much. Uh-huh. Let's see. Oh, we have a camera. I found a photo. What's this photo for? Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just so Chloe is actually young. very pleasant. There we go. Alrighty. So. What are we here to do? That's the question. Let me have a look around. Man. I remember Chloe reading this. But not after today. Mm. So as we are As I said earlier then. Today is the day. That uh, everything happens. It's just it's a mess. What a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings Hello. I did with Chloe. Hey, honey. Well, what's the crack just here? making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come uh. pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse. Oh, for shit. Night. Be there shortly. Love you. This is the... I have to so now he has to go and... Taking his car today. Yes, I was about to say. She don't have many bags of delicious right. grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this guy. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? <laughs> keys, please. The irony of her, of her having a swear jar. Right, what's going on here? Sorry, I'm in the way here, aren't I, Witty? Sorry. He's looking for his keys, so I'm assuming I'm gonna have to. You can't ah. hide from me forever. And away he goes. Right, so I am gonna have to. I'm gonna have to stop him from um, from going by car, presumably. So, course of action then is to um, hide his keys. That's presumably what I'm here to do. So I know where it is. It's under the camp. Here we go. Score. All right, I'm going to try and find, hide it somewhere. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the save mart. She don't have many bags of delicious... Ah, uh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Hide the vase. You'll be grateful for that someday. Okay. Shit, where are my keys? Hopefully that's enough. That's I'll just keep an eye on it. Jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. <laughs> Again. Very irony of saying even college fund, considering how it, it's supposedly due to end up. But... I already have a bad feeling about this because, you know, it's... Okay, this is the only territory. I have a bad feeling that this is going to go really, like, shitty in the end. Ah! I knew this thing would come in handy. Shit. How did get in here? Okay, so we need to... Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. And then away goes into the light. The light presumably being the out-of-bounds for the picture, so... Right. So... Yeah, again, I have a very... Awful sense of dread that this is gonna go badly for us. You know, it's tying into the um, to the theme of the chaos theory. Like we're gonna give her a dad back, but I'm expecting some kind of like awful calamity, like some sort of like weather situation, maybe. That's my guess. Or maybe Joyce dies. That could be it, actually. Maybe maybe the mother dies, and then that causes more. Severe consequences. What? Oh, I can join my side. Yeah, that makes sense. Could be out of range for the uh, now an for the clicker. Be there shortly. Love you. Okay, I think that, that I think we did it. What's gonna happen here? Yep. Clicker. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. I forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. 
It becomes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and joys and groceries and and it'll save the environment. <laughs> you sold me already. I'm a Chloe on this one. That was a... Uh, stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. That was very forward from you, Max. But yeah, we just... Uh, Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? You do not... Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Well, hey, Chloe, you just got your dad back. So let's see what happens. Okay. This is, that's gone. All right. Only happy memories now, it seems. That's gone. What's happening here? Aha, so this marriage never happens either. So what happens to Mr. Madsen in this uh, new future? This is all very interesting. Chloe got a nice red truck. It's an improvement on the one she had. Okay. So it's all changed now. Question is, what happens to Chloe? What happens to the whole family? That Okay, here we are. Nathan? Hello, are you even and Victoria? I already don't like this. <laughs> Never vaccine. I know. Sorry, oh, Mad Max. We're... You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is hot. Shit. She's acting like so weird. I don't like this. Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Oh, we're with the cool kids. Like whatever, bitch. Oh dear. This future already feels yeah. weird. We're part we're you part of the cool the kids. Stella? Okay. And he doesn't know anything about us as well. Oh no. This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Is there any Kate Marsh? All right, this is a. <laughs> hey, we recognize you. Jesus. Okay, so. So already the future doesn't look great, considering that we're now part of the the vortex club, the cool kids, as it were. Supposedly friends with Nate and Victoria. Maybe people don't like us now. Maybe. But, uh... Birds are not too happy. I don't know where to go. This must... Is, is this the end, I wonder? To be fair, he seems happier as a bus driver. You know? What's going on? Why are we stopping? Oh, here comes the weather now. Why is it this time? Uh, it's the. It's the. Beach whales? Oh, actual fucking stranding. <laughs> okay, I know I made a few, like, Metal Gear jokes in this, like, in this playthrough, but that is literal death stranding. <laughs> For fuck's sake. So yeah, we're fucking up everything in the world. Oh hey, the, the house is painted. So this was place was definitely changed, as you might have guessed. So What Chloe are we gonna see here? We're gonna see this we're not gonna seem to see the same punk, Chloe, I assume. Garden looks nice. I have a really bad feeling about this. Here we go. Max yeah. Caulfield. Hey, it is him. Taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? You're looking dead sound as well. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. 
No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Here we go. Chloe, Get to see Chloe now. You have a visitor. Oh no. What's happening here? Oh dear. Oh fuck. She had the car crash instead. Oh dear. That was the red truck she got. Oh. Bollocks. Well, we royally fucked that one up now, didn't we? In our efforts to uh, to save the husband, we uh, we kind of ruined things ourselves, and that's that's that episode three. Whew. Wow, um, I'm a little bit speechless after that, actually. Okay, uh, fucking hell, where do I start? Well, I guess that uh, I guess that ending is a good place to start as any. Um, I honestly, I have to say, that went in a direction I wasn't expecting. Um, you know, because I know I complained about the pacing in the previous episode and how that didn't feel as good. It felt really slow. But this one wasn't too bad. At least it started off with a bit of, like, you know, tension and excitement, breaking into the school and all that. Then you had your downtime with the swimming pool scene which was a bit kind of weird but, but I guess it served a purpose um, but yeah and then just overall kind of stuff in the middle was, was decent enough but that ending I mean oof. I'm surprised they I'm surprised at the new kind of like power we got with the whole picture thing um, that uh, I wasn't expecting it truthfully I thought it was just kind of go further in with the with the one direction we're going, but wow, that's that's changed everything. That's a that's a game changer. That is quite literally, um, you know, because presumably in like the fourth episode, we're gonna have to try and well, first of all, this is this this is the future we've set now. We've like really like roy royally screwed the pooch on with Chloe, so we'd be on our own in a sense, because uh, there's no way she's gonna be like lugging the wheelchair around everywhere. But uh, fuck. And uh, the weirdest, th the saddest thing as well is we seem to be making progress with Chloe, at least in this playthrough. Like uh, I, I pointed it out as well. Her mannerisms were starting to change, and like uh, the physical, like <clears throat> sorry, the physical kind of like observation was that she, that the blonde, like roots were coming out of her. She wasn't dyeing her hair again. So I'm guessing that was like a, a physical demonstration of her, like outlook improving I'm guessing maybe we were being a good influence on her um, but yeah like just that ending is completely like I guess uh, uh, that's what I'm thinking of like out out done all the work that we've put in like but um, I will say it's it's done its job in the sense that it's made me really intrigued into what's gonna happen next like how the fuck are we gonna fix all this <laughs> you know it's. I, I guess it's, it ties in with the whole kind of chaos theory theme they're going for. That like, this small changes and to be fair, like this wasn't a small change. This was a big fucking change. You just brought someone back to life and rewrote history. So, yeah. But even still, the consequences are far-reaching. Um, there's more clues to that really with the uh, with the Death Stranding of the whales. That was more of a kind of like uh, an indication that like we are causing more. You know, wide-ranging consequences. So, yeah, that was a that was a very good thing to throw in as well. Like, we're not just affecting weather as such; we're actually affecting other living beings. We're, we've eventually we've pretty much killed three whales, more than three whales, thanks to our uh, interference. So, yeah, uh, my opinion on episode three: I think this was pretty good. Um, it was, I think, it was important for it to keep my in my interest up because, you know. It's always the same way with the the midway of these kind of episodic games. You need to have something to to come back to. Um, I would have been okay with just continuing on the the investigation story as such, but I totally wasn't expecting this. This was uh, this was <laughs> I don't know what to even say about it. Really, uh, it was it was it was good though. I, I really liked it, and 
I'm, I'm intrigued to see where it goes next, you know, because I, I honestly don't know at this stage. You know, it's, it's going to be tying into, like, how drastic things are going to get, you know, like, the... The things we're going to do to try and get back to normal are going to be more and more drastic. And I fear that in in time with the whole kind of like butterfly effect we're going with, the more we try and fix things, the worse they're going to uh, end up, essentially. So, yeah, I'm uh, I am very intrigued with how episode 4 is going to end up. And obviously we're going to see the, the preview for episode 4 now. So I'd like to see what the... At least what the, t the teaser for it is. Just to give an indication of what, what's going on. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say, really. I think the, it was a good job with these guys. I actually... I, I enjoyed how some of the characters developed. I think, obviously, Chloe was developing a lot. And then everything suddenly changed. Um, yeah, I mean... I will say as well, just to kind of confirm, I um, said this at the start, but I did do this episode uh, on the game controller. And it is a huge improvement on keyboards if you guys are playing this on the pc yourselves like make sure to get like a, a game controller to go with it because doing it on the keyboard and mouse is very very clumsy so uh that's just a uh, word of advice and uh, but of course if you're doing it on console then that doesn't make a difference really does it uh but yeah that's all i have to say really on this um life of strange episode three it's in the books now so um yeah i think i'll just uh, let you guys uh Enjoy the rest of the cuts, the uh, credits, and uh, the episode 4 preview. And I shall be back soon on the Monday Madness channel with episode 4 of Life is Strange. But uh, until then, I have been Jonathan, and this has been Life is Strange episode 3. And we'll see you uh, sometime soon. Until then, 